Yo, what's going on, Pokemon friends and Pokemon fans? Welcome back to Open TCGs. And today we're going to be opening up this yellow envelope here in front of us. Um, <laughs> no, not really. What we're going to be doing today is um, opening up a really cool product here that I've always wanted to get in my hands. But I didn't really know much about it and I wanted to do some research before I went ahead and ordered anything. And so um, what I've done is um, there is this um, website called Pokemon Breaks. Uh, it's been advertised by many other YouTubers and Poketubers, I should say. And um, it's kind of it's kind of hard to understand if you don't know what's going on at the beginning. Let me go ahead and open this up while I'm talking to you guys about it. And after doing some research, I've decided to give them a try and see what happens with their product. So the way it works is um, these guys um, have a Pokemon store for um, when it comes to uh, mystery packs and um, cool things like that, like um, mostly mystery stuff. Um, and uh, so the way it works is they usually do live streams and they open up um, Pokemon product on live streams and then they resell, um, they basically resell the product to the public and then you have a chance of getting like mystery things, mystery items. Uh, this is this specifically here are two actual mystery packs um, that I got from them, and then in here you have a chance to getting a. Um, that's pretty much all there is in here. Bag, by the way, in the envelope, and then um, here are the two packs that I got from them. Uh, but I've gotten other stuff from them which I never got to record just because I didn't know what it was going to be about, and. Um, you get a chance to get mystery thing, mystery um, items, mystery packs. You get a chance to get PSA graded cards. Um, you get a chance of getting really old, like base set kind of like um, um, PSA 10 graded cards. So it's really, really cool that they do these things. This packs here, before I turn them around, I want to make sure that, um, yeah, they do have my name on it. So I'm going to just, um, hold, give me a second here. I don't want to make that public yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and sharpie it here and just basically giving you guys a quick look here. This is basically what it looks like. It's Pokemon Breaks and uh, with this specific um, uh, mystery packs, you are um, almost not, you're not guaranteed anything. I shouldn't say that. Um, you have a chance of getting like a uh, base set um, booster pack in here and here's the other one right here. Um, we'll go ahead and put them down this way and th these things were $24.99 uh, each so I got two of them just to kind of give them a try and see what it's about I don't think I see anything spectacular out of this pack so far um, I know the advertisement said that you may get a chance I think I think every one in every one in every four I think it was um, I could be wrong guys um, but um, let's see what comes out of these things right here. Um, how many packs, first of all? Well, we have a Guardian's Rising, so it's one pack. Burning Shadows, two. Crimson Invasion, three. Crimson Invasion, four. Crimson Invasion, five. So you get a total of five packs here. Um, I wish they would have gave us more Guardian's Rising, and it looks like this is going to be exactly the same. I don't think I see anything else in here. Uh, as far as like vintage stuff is concerned so um i don't know we'll see what happens in my opinion um 24 dollars for five packs that are currently yeah it's exactly the same thing um yeah you know five dollars a pack yeah i don't know we'll see if it's worth it or not we have to check the pools but we do have 10 packs to open up here so I guess it's not too bad. We'll start with Crimson Invasion, and then we'll end up with uh, Burning sh uh, with um, Guardians Rising, which is um, really where the cream of the crop is right now nowadays in the set. So um, let's just open up ten packs, I guess, and see what comes out of them. Um, again, I don't know if it was worth me getting these. Um, um, I don't know. We'll find out. But I, I probably be, you know, you, you guys know that I love um, mystery stuff. Anything that's a mystery box or mystery kind of um, product, I, I love to open it. So I probably will continue to open these up. I just uh, would have loved if they gave us something else other than Crimson Innovation because I have like three booster boxes left. But it's okay. 
Here's a Psychic Memory, Phoebus, and a Starmie. Okay, so that was Crimson Invasion on the right side. Now let's go on the left side here. Uh, before I go any further and forget to do that, the winners for the code card giveaways for yesterday's video will be down here in the description box below. If your name happens to be there, uh, please get a hold of me on my social media accounts and I will be sending you your code cards. Today's question of the day is, what do you guys think about this product? Do you guys think this is worth getting? Um, you're pretty much paying $5 a pack. Uh, there was no shipping, so let me add to that. They I, they shipped it for free, but I did spend 50 bucks for these two um, packs, which uh, each one came with five uh, booster packs. Um, let me know in the, down in the comment section below if this is something you'd be interested in, and I'll be picking up three winners for tomorrow's video. And, uh, yeah, we'll do this all over again. All right, Reggie Steele. Let me just kind of give you guys... Hold on, this camera seems like it's not... There we go. All right. So Crimson Innovation here again. Uh, so far we've gotten nothing but green code cards. Um, I really highly doubt that these people will be weighing their packs. I don't think uh, that's kind of... They have a pretty good reputation. Um, they do have a bunch of good product that they um, offer. I'm going to link the um, website down in the description box below if you guys are interested in of just checking it out. Like I said, it was hard for me to understand towards the beginning of uh, me researching this uh, website. Um, I didn't know exactly how it worked, but um, it's pretty cool that they do live streams and they do um, the openings on live stream and then you can potentially get this packs and they can say get some really cool old cards too. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I'll buy something else, like I said, in the future. And a Reggie Eyes Hollow Rare. So um, we'll put that aside here. I already have them in my collection, so um, I don't need to re-sleeve it. I made a video uh, with some Q&As on what I usually do with my cards and how I treat them and stuff like that. If you guys missed that video, I'm going to put the uh, link down below as well. So you guys can go ahead and check it out or you can see it up here in an iCard. Execute, Jigglypuff, Houndor, Spoink, Mischievous, Mischievous, ah, can't pronounce anything today, Grumpig, Peking Red Card, Diggersby, Xerneas Reverse Hollow Rare, and in Alola Marowak. So two hollows back to back. Not too bad right there. Let's go back and do Crimson Invasion. This will be the third pack for the right side. So we'll see what happens. And before I forget, let me go ahead and give you guys a code card right there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys get yourselves a Buzzwall. And uh, it will be nice. The Buzzwall is so strong right now. It is so, so strong right now. Um, with Lycanroc and other additions is just a very very strong card in the TCG right now So go ahead and get yourselves one if you do get a buzzwall though, let me know that would be really really awesome if you did All right, a Lusamine Cubone and an Alteria Okay, so Nothing out of that one. We have uh, one more Crimson Invasion here And then we'll move on to Burning Shadows and end it up with the Guardians Rising Let's see now, um, if I don't pull anything good out of these two packs, I'm probably going to say this was a uh, <laughs> very waste of, a big waste of money. Again, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Um, you would expect out of 10 packs at least to get something good. But we'll see. Meanwhile, Stuffle and a Memoswine. Like I said, I, I really doubt it that these packs are weighed. I, um... You know, I don't think that's the case. I don't want to believe that's the case. But who knows? You know, people nowadays, it's hard. It's it's really hard to trust anybody out there right now. Um, I personally haven't seen really many people opening these up um, on YouTube. So I don't know if uh, that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Meowth. Metapod. Dusclops. Nuctowl. Sophocles Reverse Hollow. And an Azumarill. Regular rare. Okay, Burning Shadows number two here. And then we have two more packs with Guardians Rising. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, three and two. Caterpie, Sandigast, Venipede, Sneasel, Alolan Vulpix, Simisage, Electric, Buffalant, Mount Lenalika. Lenakilla, I'm sorry, and Electros. Boy, oh boy. All right, down to the two Kama O packs here for Guardians Rising. 
Um, the only way this uh, opening at this point will be saved is if I pulled a Tapu Lele Hyper Rare. Um, then I'll be completely okay with it. Uh, Ruck Ruff, Gumi, Slowpoke, Mudbray, Delibird, Gotharita, Sableye, Max Potion, a Lolan Graveler Reverse, and that's an uncommon, and a Tremonent. Oh man, really? Alright, Guardian Slicing here. Last pack. Um, let me give you guys a code card here. For Guardian Slicing, get yourselves a Tapu Lele. Um, this is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good at all. Um, wow. Okay. So, Machop. Fletchling, Vulpix, Gothita, Chansey, Hakama O, Energy Lodo, Machoke, Choice Ben Reverse Hollow, and an Oricoria. So, I gave one code card away, which was a green code card. I got two green code cards, uh, I mean, two white code cards out of 10 packs. Um, and both of these were hollow cards. Um, <laughs> if if this was if this actually came from like an eBay seller, I would say it was definitely weighed. Um, but I don't know. I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. I can't just jump and say you know this is exactly what happened here. Um, I may give them a try again and see what comes out of them. If that's if this happens again, then we may have a problem. Uh, but you know, it is Pokemon, and that's sometimes what happens. You know, you can't really win them all. Um, but it is kind of a shame that I spent fifty bucks um, to get these packs, and the only pulls that we got were these two Hollow rares and this Cernia Reverse Hollow Cernias. Um, okay. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think is going on here. Um, if you guys liked the video, please give me a like. If you did not, well, give me a dislike and let me know how I can fix it and make it better for you guys. But definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any cool videos like this. I'll be definitely doing my, lots more, lots more to come. Um, can't wait for Ultra Prism to come out very, very soon. All right, guys. Well, take care of yourselves. If you're listening and watching the Open TCGs, I'll talk to you in the next one.